Now this is my 1949 Studebaker 2R5 half-ton pickup truck that my sister and I are in the process of restoring. What I wanted to talk about was this gear shifting assembly found on my pickup. I have a three-speed transmission, the column shift. This is the upper portion found inside the cab. Here's my gear shifting lever here. First I wanted to talk about this upper portion found inside the cab. And the real reason I want to talk about that is now this is the bracket that the steering column goes through and that this gear shifting assembly goes through and mounts underneath the dash of the pickup. When I took this apart, I didn't realize that this could not be bent out. And I tried to bend it out and I ended up breaking the original one on my pickup. So this is my spare here. And instead of breaking it, I wanted to make sure I understood how to put this on. And what I figured out from the manual was that all of this stuff here needs to come off so that I can take this, mount this over the gear shifting assembly, and then mount it onto my steering column shaft. And my issue was, as I started taking this apart, if you look in the book, it'll tell you this top right here will come off. You just unscrew it, it just screws off of there. This is the part that actually fits over the steering column shaft, and then it mounts to here. Inside of there you'll see the spring that comes out. It's inside the book. And then you have this pin here. And for me, uh, this will not fit over the shaft with this pin inside here. So this pin has to come out. And my problem was is that it was rusted up and frozen inside of there. It wouldn't move at all. And it has to move as part of the shifting for the vehicle. And so that gave me a problem. And what I ended up doing was just kind of putting it in an angle here and I started putting PB Blaster inside of here and hoping to break this pin loose a little bit so that I could get it out. And eventually, it took about three days of soaking and a little bit of pinging with a, with a punch uh, to get it worked free, but I was finally able to get it done. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to in order to get to this, I had to take this gear shift lever off and it mounts, there's a cap right here that holds this down onto the gear shifting assembly. So you have to take that cap off. And that's what the cap looks like. And then inside of there you'll see a retaining clip. It actually sits over the spring here. It's kind of con concave. And then you got your spring and then this comes out and that allowed me then to take and soak this out and to be able to take my punch and put it in there and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the camera and show you where I put the punch and how I was able to to pry this out okay so here on the back side you can see this little slot here and this pin is actually inside of there and what I was able to do I had this punch and after soaking this in PB Blaster, I was able to put this punch in behind there and with some very soft tapping using a, a steel hammer, I was able to finally break it loose and I started working it out and so then it came out. Uh, the thing I want you to show is this is kind of a soft metal and even with the slight tapping I still uh, put indentions inside the end of this pin so be careful, don't get too big of a hurry and end up and breaking this or something. Uh, but that's the pin and there's that felt washer there that pops out. So I just took some fine emery cloth, cleaned both the inside and outside here, and now I got that moving back and forth. So once I was able to get that pin out, then I could take this, slide it over, and you can see now that it goes inside of there. And uh, just a lesson learned on my part. But it was also valuable in understanding that this needed to be moving free. So, so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and put this back in. And don't forget your, your felt washer here. And if it's damaged, go ahead and put another one in there because that felt washer actually sits inside of here. It will help keep grease inside of there. You can put some grease inside of there to keep it lubricated. And that will help with the shifting of the vehicle. Slide that back in. Gear shift levers in. Go ahead and slide my spring back over there spring retaining clip and I'm going to take my cap slide that over 
You're going to have to press down a little bit with that spring tension there. Be careful to find thread so you don't want to cross thread it. And the trick to getting this secured is to kind of have this straight up and down. It gives you a good shot and allows you to line up your, your cap there and start screwing it down. Just something to consider when you're putting this together. Go ahead and put my spring back into here. We'll go ahead and secure this end cap here. Okay, and so there you can see it moving in and out with no problem there. And then we got our mounting bracket here that mounts under the, the dash of the pickup and holds both the steering column and this gear shift to leaving the assembly up. Hopefully that will help somebody else out there. Thank you very much and bye.